and welcome, PPL fans. Welcome to another iteration of the news uh, regarding the transfers. I'm fixing my cam after starting the video because I don't give a damn about anything, okay? All right. <laughs> That's the intro. That counts as an intro. That's fine. Look, we got some more transfers. You know, these coaches can just can't stop. I don't know what's wrong with them, you know. You would think that these experts in Pokemon knew how to draft, but it seems like they want to change their teams every week. Every week. Almost every week. I'm kidding, by the way. Uh, this is the, you know, on the PPL Season 3. Uh, we're going to be checking out the uh, little transfers, you know, that it's, the, the coaches are doing uh, week by week. And this is what you can expect for uh, today's matches. I think this is going to drop uh, the same exact day as the, as the uh, you know, as the PPL videos. And... Um, we're going to have uh, quite a bit of changes once again, you know. Uh, you would think that, um, you know, most of the changes have been done already, but um, not the case. <laughs> not, not the case at all. So what do we got today? Hmm? We got, uh, first of all, we're going to start with Mounte. <gasps> You know, Mounte is back, uh, you know, instead of uh, running away from the allegations of moving towards Sceptiles, you know, doing moving against uh, one of his peers in the team, uh, it has been completely confirmed because Sceptile has been completely expelled from the immunity idols, you know, uh, you would think that uh, we wouldn't see it coming, you know, that the moving isn't real, but it is, you know, it, there has been some intense moving and bullying on that Sceptile, and instead, Mount is gonna pick Suicune, and he's gonna pick Go-Goat, you know, and he has gave us a very good reason for it, you know, Go-Goat, even without the Terra uh, Captain, uh, takes zero damage from an Ivy Cudgel from Ogre Pond um, Grass, so, wow, you know, that is, um, that is something, I'm sure he's preparing for it for the future weeks, but alas, uh, we got the classic Suicune, uh, lots of setup potential, you know, uh, for for Mante. I'm pretty sure he still has not lost any matches. So all of the changes he's been doing, all of the drafting he's been doing so far has been perfect. So uh, good changes, good changes. Then uh, another coach is going to participate in the trades. Uh, this time for the first time, it's going to be this season. It's going to be Mephesto. Uh, basically, he said, and I quote, that he's going to be swapping motherfucking bitch Astenta fraud for goaded fat gated bastard, right? And um, thankfully we had uh, Pokiaim as a translator in the chat just to let us know what this uh, mafia, you know, mafia words mean, you know? So this basically translates into that Tentacruel is out, you know? He disappointed the mafia. And you know what happens when you disappoint the mafia, you know? You get um, thrown out into the streets of draft, si draft city streets yes <laughs> he you know has decided to drop that water uh, that is not uh, I guess the tentacle is kind of overpriced nowadays um, 10 points is quite a bit but it's you know has removal is very much um, very much not abundant in in draft league uh, if you do Paldea. Uh, so for Alligator, you know, a pick with much more offensive power. Uh, not even a Terra Captain, just a straight up for Alligator, Life Orb, Sheer Force, a very strong bond with Dragon Dance. So um, he said, drop the defensive water stuff, let's bring the offense here. And let's see how that will work. You know, that feels like he's gonna try to use this as soon as possible, right, for one of the incoming matches. So let's be and see what is happening in Mephesto's channel, right, uh, in the battles. And uh, then we have another small change uh, from Grey, once again. Again, you know, he's, he's not going to be a transfer video without him. And basically, he's going to drop Rabombi, and he's going to be Spiritum and Leafeon. No Terra Captains at all. So no changes in that. He's going to straight up pick a Spiritum. He's going to straight up pick a Leafeon without anything else. What is the man cooking? No one knows, but, um, you know, that uh, Leafeon leaves, I guess, that Kush, as you youngsters would say, seems to be pretty tempting to him. Um, so let's see what he's going to be planning with that. Uh, I sure have no clue what the hell he's even doing with a Leafeon without Terra. But, uh, you know, that is as curious as it can be. You know, I kind of want to see it now. And uh, last, we got the big changes on the team. You know, it's going to be none other than Matthew Drafts. That's right, Matthew Drafts. 
uh, Matthew Drafts is going to be dropping, and as well, this is the uh, we, we need we need a transcription uh, for this. Uh, thankfully, Gray has helped me to understand what this means because uh, he was speaking uh, in UK, right? So basically, she basically dropped more and more gullible Galarian bird, mindless mushroom, stupid slug, half with Hisuian rodent, and he's going to be picking a genius Galarian Sloki, mindful Minshao. Educated, close, uh, Empoleon, sorry. Uh, closer is clever. And then, intelligent electrifier. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, uh, that's a lot of changes, you know. Uh, his team was not doing too good. He also mentioned that he was not enjoying his team as much. So, that implies this five changes in one week, right? He's done with this, he's done with the previous team. He's moving forwards with life, you know. He's gonna go straight ahead with. Um, with this and that's a lot of picks you know a lot of uh, uh he basically said hey vamps is week one had a cool team i want to pick most of it and uh you know it's got a new terra captain too uh but i'll talk about this later because uh, we're talking about matthew and drafts you know um it reminds me a lot of um dr slacking uh, honestly, but uh, I don't think Dr. Slacking would uh, would ever do this kind of changes. I don't know. He's, um, he, he reminds me of him. I don't know why. Uh, the Terra Captains that I mentioned is none other than Cloyster. That's a good one. And then we have Electivire. Uh, now, Electivire it's very interesting, right? He's gotten picked by Seabad's team since he dropped it some weeks ago, uh, but Cloyster is looking very strong. You know? Ghost and Electric. Ghost to, you know, to use it a more in a more defensive profile to spin block if you set up hazards with it very nice and then uh you know electric to have extra coverage ice uh your classic beam bolt coverage with it huh? and then electrifier look at that uh, he's gonna be picking uh, ice flying and grass so he did change it uh or at least that's you know what it says uh, the message uh, it's wrong basically so in the dark it's basically ice flying grass which are very good typings for for electrifier and i think electrifier is an underrated terra captain one i think he can do some work with it uh, we'll see if this can help move his uh his season forward a little bit and try to get a win at least at some point we are rolling for you matthew drafts and finally we've got two more terra changes one is going to be alex once again once you bayonet he just, you know, he has to say change something, and the Kingdra has some sort of uh, problem, right? Uh, the Kingdra does need to know uh, who is he, right? He, he, he has some identity issues, right? First he thought he was a steel type, but now it results that it's a grass type. Another good typing in rain. Last time we mentioned this Terra change, uh, we basically said that uh, Steel on Rain is a good type because it has obviously the damage uh, of Fire type. So he this, he does have Steel that Rain aspect on his team, even though it's not the main thing anymore. Uh, and it's got the Grass now, right? So it covers pretty similar weaknesses um, that the Steel thing has, and it's still a good typing if you were to use it uh, with with the Rain. So. Uh, with this, gains extra coverage as well, which is nice to hit certain mods that probably he will be facing soon. So, interesting switches. Uh, I think it's going to be used very soon, and that's going to be nice to see. And last but not least, it's Necro Steve. I sound just like him, right? Uh, another change of Graphite. No rock Graphite. Unfortunately, that would have been cool to see. He's going to pick a, a much better uh, Terra type uh, for it instead of rock. He's going to pick fighting. Uh, which gives him pretty nice coverage all around with uh, normal moves uh, and the poison moves, not gonna lie. So, uh, despite not be being able to see the full extent of the power of Terra, Rock, Graphite, uh, regrettably, uh, he has picked a much better typing, in my opinion. And I hope you guys think too, you know, those are all the changes that we have for week uh, 4, right? So this is week 4 and the week 5 matches are about to happen. So, I hope you guys are ready. Uh, I'll see you guys each other in the uh, in the matches, you know, as a as another public, you, you could say, as another audience. Uh, all right, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, hope you guys have a good day. Goodbye.